Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And in this video, I wanna take a moment to talk to you guys a little bit about a fragrance that I recently discovered, as well as a giveaway and how you can win yourself a full-size bottle of this fragrance. And the fragrance is by Salvatore Ferragamo and it goes by the name Aqua Essenziale Colonia. Now this one is a 2015 release and the perfumer behind this one is Alberto Morillas. Alberto Morias has also done the famous Aqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani. He's also done one of my favorite fragrances, which is by Eau de Tali, and it's called Aqua Decima. And I think it shows his versatility as a perfumer as it pertains to fresh scents, that he can go from making something so natural and refreshing, summer-esque like Aqua Decima with notes of citrus and mint to the very popular aquatic, aqueous floral Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani, which has been so popular for more than 20 years now. So here's another one. The original Aqua Essenziale came out a couple years before this one in 2013. The following year in 2014, they released Aqua Essenziale Blue. And then in 2015, they released the Colonia version. Colonia meaning cologne in Italian. And this fragrance is classified as an aromatic fougere because of its use of some herbal notes like clary sage, as well as the use of the note of lavender. Lavender, and I want to start things off by taking a look at the presentation. So here on the box for the fragrance, you have the name of the fragrance and the company printed on the front, Salvatore Ferragamo towards the bottom. This size and concentration, this one is a note of toilette. On the very bottom, you find the UPC code as well as the serial number printed to the right in black letters and numbers. You have the ingredients at the bottom and on the back, you have some more information and the Salvatore Ferragamo logo at the top, and that's pretty much it as far as the box goes. Not much more to it. Now, as far as the bottle goes, pretty cool design that is in synchronicity with the box. Name of the fragrance and the company here on the front. Salvatore Ferragamo also written towards the bottom of the back. And then you also have this white gridded pattern on the back, which I think looks pretty cool. You could see it from the front as well. Really cool design. On the bottom is where you will find a sticker with your pertinent information. And the cap does click into place and it has this rubber ring on it, which makes for um, an easy way to take off the cap. The distribution is a little bit narrow though, so I would be careful and spray from a distance. And that was the presentation for Aqua Sensiale Colonia by Salvatore Ferragamo. Now, it's difficult to overlook that initial blast of freshness that you're gonna get from this scent. And as soon as it opens up, it smells very fresh and citrusy. And there are some really good citrus going on in here. And I think I was a little surprised when I picked this up at TJ Maxx. I wasn't expecting to get as much from it. I know the original is more of an aquatic. It has more of that going on in it. This one is an aquatic. It has those watery notes in there, but it pays more of an emphasis to the citrus. And if you're a fan of citrus, chances are you're gonna like this one. So it has the note of bergamot in there. And I can vouch for that. It doesn't smell like lime or lemon or orange because I think those fruits have distinctive smells as does bergamot but I think this one is more on the generic side meaning that there isn't like a unique citrus appeal characterizing this particular smell. Really it's a really nice citrus and the way that it opens up is pretty much what you're going to be left with in the dry down. I know some other notes are listed in there like vetiver, uh, you also have a little bit of a fougere quality due to the fact uh, that it contains lavender. And I don't get a lot of lavender in here. I perhaps get a little bit of sage or what they're trying to pass off as sage, giving this fragrance a sort of fresh feel. Overall, I think it's a really nice casual scent. It's inexpensive. It's a great scent to wear if you're running errands or lounging around the house, or even if you wanna go out and play a game of basketball or something like that, it's inoffensive. Um, it's likely to garner you compliments because people are going to enjoy the way that it smells. It's just very fresh, it's linear, it's citrusy, it's evocative of the summer, and it's a very sort of polite and accommodating scent. And I think it certainly has that going for him. My wife likes it a lot. Uh, she even stole a few sprays herself. And this is a fragrance I think I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer. It's not one of my favorites, but it's one that certainly gets a job done and I feel great every time I wear it. So let's go ahead and finish things off by taking a look at the rating. 
First up, we have uniqueness and overall smell, and I don't find the smell to be all that unique. It smells very similar to Nautica Voyage Sport. It smells to me a little bit like Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. A lot of these fresh, citrusy scents that we're seeing hit the market nowadays. Now, I know a lot of people online are saying that this smells a lot like Creed's Himalaya. And... I can see what people mean. I think Paco Rabanne Excess so, smells more like Himalaya than this does. But nonetheless, I can see why people are saying that because it does have a citrusy feel to it. And I think it does the job very well. I think they uh, were cognizant and mindful of when they were going to release it, uh, to which demographic they wanted it to cater. And I think the execution is pretty good, but the smell is a bit on the generic side. As far as longevity on this one is uh, concerned, five hours. Uh, really, the longevity on this one is subpar, but it fits within that constraint of it being an eau de toilette, right? You would expect between four to six hours. It's exactly what you get. Projection was good for the first half hour. Like I said, this is a citrus-dominated scent, and of course, citrus is a very volatile note or notes, and unfortunately, this one does not really jump up off your skin past the first half hour to one hour mark. It does sit close to the skin, maybe within an elbow's length for like an hour and a half, and then it becomes a skin scent warranting you to reapply. And then versatility on this one is pretty high. I just wouldn't wear it in the winter months. I think it's unisex. You can wear it no matter what age you are. I just think it's restricted to the summer because of the lack of performance. And then presentation on this one is nice. It's not great, nothing too fancy, but I kind of like what they did with the bottle here and the, the silver metallic look to it. But again, I don't think it, it blows anything out of the water. I don't think it's earth shattering. And if I were to give this fragrance an overall score, I would give it a two out of five stars. Now, I do think this is a nice scent. I just think that it... it it has a one-track mindset, and it's set out to accomplish a goal, however big or small that goal may be, and I think it accomplished that goal, but for somebody who's the connoisseur, for somebody who has amassed uh, a significant number of bottles in their collection, you're looking for the next best thing. While this is a great scent, and it's very uplifting and refreshing, I don't necessarily think that it's that great of a scent that I would pay full retail to buy it. Absolutely not. So, nonetheless, it is a nice scent, and it will get you compliments. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my review of Salvatore Ferragamo's Aqua Essenziale Colonia. If you would like to be entered to win a full-size bottle of this fragrance, brand new, 3.4 ounce, all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel, comment down below, like and share this video, and you'll be entered and good to go. So just those four things. Subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and share the video, and you'll be entered. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, top 10s, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. And on that note, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.